Facebook is already giving me a little bit of an issue today. Let's see if I can connect. I'm trying not to um, dunk my cord in the tank. I saw a, a notification come up on my phone, but let's see if we get one on the iPad. I'll just sit it over here for a minute and I'll grab some newsprint. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to give me a notification on the iPad. Trying to get out the newsprint. I'm almost out. My big stack is almost gone. I have lots of uh, grocery bags that I can stuff shoes in, into shoes. Let's see, where am I going to put this? All righty. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Pat. Thank you so much. How is everyone today? Happy Monday. It's been a glorious Monday for me. I, uh, well, it's not been super, but I found out my car, my truck needs repairs. It's going to be, well, the part is almost $3,000. So I'm like having a little cardiac arrest over that. And then I went to get a new phone because this old phone that I have is, you never know if it's gonna charge, it doesn't hold its battery, it's very, very old. I just hate going in to get a new one. So we went in to get a new one today. They didn't have the one I needed, of course. So I had to come back home and order it. It'll be here in a couple days and then I'll see if I can figure it all out once it gets here, so. But I did get to come home and cut out more of my big project that I'm working on. So that's exciting. I have, um, I also, I bought some zipper by the yard kind of thing. And so I sat today and put all the zipper pulls on them. So, um, and then I discovered I needed to order more zipper pulls because they didn't give me enough with the, the um, zipper, zipper that I got. So. It's been an interesting day, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Any day that I don't have to go to the office is a wonderful day. So let's see if I can find this on the iPad and not dunk it in the, in the tank. Tonight when I was getting ready, I came out here and I set my phone down in the tank and then started putting water in it. So I did realize quickly enough that that was not going to work right and I pulled it back out. Whoops, that's not what I want. I want this one. Let's see if I can find it. Well, I may not get to see comments today. Let's try over here. Okay, that's what happens here. Sound is all the way off. There we go. Yeah, I, I took today off. We had Saturday market on Saturday and it was supposed to be super hot and um, it always takes me like a day to recover from that. I'm not like when I was young and I could just bounce back from being out in the heat all day. And it's quite, um, hi Shelly, thank you. Um, it's quite uh, a lot of work to unload the trailer, set up, and then take it all down and load the trailer again. So I took that off, but then we got out of the show early. They. Uh, closed it early because it was supposed to be so hot, but then it never got that hot. So <laughs> it was one of those situations, but um, it's okay. I enjoyed today immensely. It was wonderful. I got to sleep in some and uh, then get up and start all the fun stuff of being adulting. But, and my iPad is already frozen. 
So we are just not being successful today. Okay, there we go. We've got it back. Okay. Let's see how it goes. And it's frozen again. So I probably won't be able to see your comments today. Hopefully it doesn't kick you off. And this could be my phone. As I said, this is a very old phone and I think it's just given up the ghost. So without further ado, let's get started. I will get you pointed down to the water. lid off of the rinse bucket. How are you today, Shelly? So hold on, going for a ride. As I turn you around. Trying to see Okay, so you, there's about six inches here that you can't see. So we'll work out that way. All right, so let me clear this off. I hope everyone had a wonderful day. It's warm here again. We had thunderstorms earlier, but now it's all clear and nothing going on out there. I do have the fan on a little bit. but it's pointed away from us, or at least over this way, not over the tray. Oh, you can't even see me. It's pointed not over the tray. So the iPad keeps freezing. Okay, so now we're good, I think. So I have three more strips that I need to marble. Um, related to the project that I'm working on. And then um, I have a couple other pieces that I'm going to do some more tote bags, some little tote bags, just decorate them. And I do have one piece for a denim tote bag that I'll make. I don't know how many will get through this tonight because it's super hot out here, but I'll get started so we can uh, move along. So I thought I would go ahead and use a teal and a purple. Let's see. This is not the one I want. Let me find the one I want. Oh, that fan feels heavenly. We had, we, it was funny on, Saturday, it was so humid that the, um, you know, I always have an issue with one when it's humid out. Yeah, this is the one. This one, let me find the white. This one. And I need the teal. Is this, no, that's not the one I want. Where is it? Where is it? fails there's one that wouldn't work and this uh, little girl wanted blue in her hat well none of the blues were working I just could not believe we were having that much trouble with the blue and so we kept trying different ones she was very open to different colors thank goodness here it is no that's black and um, so I ended up using the teal and it worked really well. And she had this purple and teal and I really like the way it came out. So we're gonna, if I can find the teal, let's go with that. I know I have one in here. Let me put on my glasses. Maybe I can see it if I put on my glasses, even this, though this is not handwriting or the written word. I almost forgot to bring the paints out. Well, where the heck? Here it is. Here it is. Found it. We might 
want that lighter one too. Okay, now I'm ready. The glass is off. So I'm going to, oh, I can't see anything. Hi, Tammy, how are you? I hope you've had a wonderful day. So I can barely see the screen when I'm down at that end. So I'll try to catch comments, but if I miss you, please don't be sad. It's not intentional. The iPad just will not work today. We go through periods where the, the iPad will not, I just want to stay down at this end and fill the, the fan. <laughs> The iPad will not cooperate, so this is one of those times. All right, and now I'm going to put the darker teal in. And the little girl that was doing the, the blue that was not working she um, was surprised when I put the teal in, and it's hard to explain to a little one, you know, how pushy the teal colors are. And I told her it was going to push the other colors away, and when it did, her mom just was shocked. And, uh, but we put in some more of the purple, and I can't remember what other color she had. It turned out so cute. Now some of the lighter. All right. Let me scoot this all over. And I think I'm going to comb this one. Oh, I was having a fit today. I decided my grad, my graduate, my daughter will graduate vet school in May of 2026. And where she's going to school, there's not very many hotels. There's two universities and not very many hotels. And things fill up really quickly. And I'm thinking I want to uh, rent a large home and we can all stay um, there. My my d older daughter and I'm sure my youngest will want to stay at her house and get ready at her house but um, and any friends that want to come you know from out of town will just all be in one one place and I was looking um, first I looked on VRBO and everything was already booked for 2026 I was just like oh my goodness what am I gonna do and so I went over to Airbnb, which is my second choice, but um, there wasn't, there was like three, and one of them that would sleep, you know, a large number of people, and one of them was like over $1,000 a night, and I'm like, well, no. And then um, the other two, one was a two bed, or three bedroom, and it only had one bath, and I thought, for all of us, only one bath, there's never going to, that's not going to work. We're all going to try to be getting ready at the same time. And so I mixed that idea. Let's see which one do I want. So I don't, I was going to rent this one. It was out of town a little ways. So it isn't exactly what. And then I was of the um, date where you can rent, and maybe we're hoping maybe someone um, you know starts adding things that are available closer to. So I'll just check weekly. But oh, I'm so worried that we're not going to find anything, and then there's going to be no hotels. The hotels are about almost $500 a night. So, you know, they jack the prices when it's an event. So I'm gonna watch that carefully, but I was, I could not believe it's almost 
you know, it's not even a year yet. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, Tammy, is just keep checking. Hopefully, we can find something. And her boyfriend's mom and her boyfriend want to, uh, boyfriend or fiance, I'm not sure, want to, you know, stay there with us if we have room, which I don't blame her because it's so hard to find accommodations. You know, and this far out, I don't know how many guests we're going to have come from out, you know, out of the area. So, <laughs> it's just very uh, stressful. I just can't believe how much they jack the prices on everything. I guess that's supply and demand though, right? There's not a lot to choose from and they know people need it. I told my husband it might be cheaper if we just bought a house up there and then we could rent it out when we're not using it. So let me get my assistant. Oh, I have my, uh, maybe this turned it down. I have my, stop it. No, my thing's turned all the way up and I have my microphone on. It's even green. It says it's turned on, but you're not hearing me? Well, it's on. Is it better now? Okay, I don't know what why was it working. It said it was green. Okay. So I've got the first thing done and I'll go get my assistant. Okay, dear. Let me do a little check though. I was standing right here when you say it's better. So I'm going to walk to the other end of the um, tray. And now can you hear me now? I'll wait until I see the um, words move, and then we'll go from there. Let me know if you can hear me when I'm at this end. I just don't know. Let's see. Let me see what it said. Yes? Okay. I don't know what the difference was. Good. Okay. All right. So let's work these down here. Again, we're going to go side by side. You need to come this way a little bit. We have plenty of room this way. I've only um, combed two of these. Uh, and that's counting this one. Thank you. That's all for this one. So I need to do this little guy. This I'm marbling just a little bit of a ribbon for a bow. I realized when I unpacked that I did not um, make any bows. I only have one left. Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate it. So I just rinsed it in the bucket of water. So now I'll get the bucket over here. And I forgot to block off this whole thing. You know me, I get all excited about painting and Forget. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at there. Oh, it's pretty. Into the rinse bucket. I have been utilizing Mother Nature, though, out here. I've been rinsing these and hanging them right on the rack and not painting up my guest bathroom, and that's nice. I kind of like it. I know it's not going to work when it gets a little cooler out. But now I'm going to go hang them on the rack. 
Try not to slip in the water. All right, there we go. There's one. But they dry so quickly. When I come out in the morning, they will be completely dry. Here's number two. Down into the bucket. I'm just trying to get off the excess paint and any of the um, size that would be remaining on there. I don't know if you can see that right next to the table here, but I don't want to drip in the tank. It looks beautiful. There we go. All right, let me dry my hands off, move the rinse bucket, and then we'll get all this excess paint out of here. So now that I've got all the pieces cut for uh, my project, oh, not really. My hat is, this hat is blue and teal and red. I think there's two teals, a red and a blue. And this is two teals per and purple and white. So I guess similar. I, no blue and no red here. But we do have the purple. <sighs> but now tomorrow I have to go back to work. And I'd rather sit here and sew. I was trying to find a lot of uh, people who sew now use, instead of pins, they will use these tiny little clips. And I've been using the clips that I get at Dollar Tree, those little pink, you know, ones with the pink ends. And they're just a little bit too heavy. I've got some satin to sew with. And so I was hoping to, um, now I didn't go to Joann's. Joann's is not convenient. To go to so I would just ran into Hobby Lobby and looked there and they didn't have them so I have ordered some from Amazon and they'll be here this week so this weekend will be a sewing weekend I want to get um, remember when I marbled the satin for that top for my daughter I want to get that sewn up and then start on this project that I have to do. And I'm really going to, um, you know, do it in, what do you call it? The word just went right out of my head. Um, I'm going to do, you know, like all the same pieces, sew in all the zippers, do all the pressing, then top stitch. And um, I don't think it's going to take very long. But those are my famous last words to do the, the my little project. Well, I hope my head's not in the way here. Um, our show was pretty good. It was a little slow. Uh, it was a little quiet for everyone. But I sold, um, you know, a little baby set that I had there and then I sold a couple hats but it was a little bit quiet the whole event seemed quiet and I don't know if people just weren't coming out because it was hot I know we're getting ready to go back to school here 
So maybe people were more, more focused on preparation for back to school than they were just, you know, strolling the Saturday market. All right, that did pretty good. So, um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible at all. Any day we make our money back plus is a good day. It's always, always, always one of those things when I'm driving there, I'm just like, oh, why did I think I wanted to do this? And then when I get there and I'm all set up and ready for everyone, then I get excited. And then I have a great time. And then we have to pack it all up. And, you know, you're never quite as energetic after several hours. Ours runs from 9 a.m. to uh, 2 p.m., originally but we got done at noon just after noon this time so it was just nine ten three hours oh thank you i always fret about my setup i always fret okay so what do we want to use now i have one more let's see let's think about this I need to use, I have one more long strip, and then I have some other strips I want to do, if it'll fit in here, um, or one other one, because I, I need to do some different ones for those bags. Oh, that'll work. No, well, I've already have one that color. I need color help. Anybody have any ideas for me? Just give me a general palette to work from. Shall we try like, like a gray and a black and a white? And maybe throw a little yellow in? How about that? We haven't done that. All right, let's see what I can find here. If I can find all the colors. Let's see. This is the one I want. And gray and gray. And then we want a nice bright yellow. It's so it's so hard cuz you know I get stuck. This would be beautiful with uh, gray and gray and the fluorescent pink too, but nope, we can't be doing all the pinks. So now a nice bright yellow. Okay, so let, where's my white? There. I forgot to bring my glass out here, my drink. My drink, my water is what it is sounds so much more exotic if I say I didn't bring my drink out than my water. So what's everybody's weather doing? We are kind of going to be hung in the upper 90s and I think we're going back into the 100s and then I'm hoping we will start uh, is just a hot month all over the place. As it's supposed to be, it is summertime. But this girl's getting ready for fall. Sweatshirt weather, all the fun. Oh, I just had an idea. <laughs> okay, we've got a piece of dried paint here. All right, so now I want some black. You know, actually, let's see if we can do some yellow first. Because I kind of want the yellow in the background. I don't want a lot of it. Okay, now let's do the black.
my husband was telling me today that now this is the regular gray it I have a regular gray and then I have a light gray I don't know can you see the lights probably facing the wrong way There you might be able to tell. Anyway, one's regular and one's light. He was saying today that we might have a really uh, harsh winter this year, but they always say that and then it's never, we don't get it. I always try to think of something that's not too bold in the colors because I know some people, I think, I think what, just, no, maybe not. Some people like more neutral colors. Oops. So I just put, saw this fall in there right off the top of this bottle of paint. Because I did want the black and the, uh, yellow to be background colors and that's what they are come on oh that man feels heavenly come on come out of there Let me see what I did with that pin from last time. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing to drip now. There we go. All right, let's scoot these over. I'm tempted to put more black in, but I really don't want to because black is so, you know, intense that it can run easily. So that's why I try to just put a little bit of black in. I wonder what it would look like if I combed it after swirling like this. We may have to experiment today. I made a list of things that I need to work on. I'm almost out of bandanas. People don't buy a lot of bandanas or a lot of scarves anymore. When I first started this, scarves were very popular, but it seems like they don't really care for them anymore. So I just have a few, but I don't want to make too many. All right. Should I, should I comb it? Okay. Let's try it. It works. I kind of like it a lot better. It really, uh, I think it added a lot of interest by freestyling first and then combing. Right, so let's swirl a little bit through it. Just a little light swirl, not a lot. All right, I think that's pretty for, for yellow. I'm not a huge yellow fan. 
But this will be interesting. Let's see how it prints up. Okay, dear. So I think I'm going to put this kind of right down the middle, maybe. Or maybe towards this side. I think towards this side. That's the last big one I have. I will need you for this one, I think. Well, let's see. Will this one fit? We're going to put it in. Oh, it did just fit. Oh, there's a little overlap right there. I think I'm going to use the one I just put in. I might do, um, used to do a, oh, there you're back. Hello. Um, I think this one, the smaller one that I just put in here, gosh, you can't even see it all, can you? Um, I'm going to use it to make one of the hats, and I think I'll use some black bling and uh, maybe do a black Idaho or whatever state I need to decide to do. But see that black running? So into the... Rinse it goes. Just into the rinse bucket. Oh, it's got a little bit of... Ah. So the black is doing kind of what I thought it might do. There's just a few spots where the black would run and kind of bleed into the white. And so I'm trying to rinse that right now because it does come right off. I just take my finger a little bit and rub it, and it comes right off. It is on the surface, but it'll dry like that if I allow it to stay. Oops. And I have to be careful not to run my finger through the black. And not all of the colors do this. Black is a rough one. All right, I think we're good. All right, let's see how this long one turns out. It has a little bit more black in it. See, it's doing the same thing. Can you see up here by my hand where it's, I don't know if you can see where it's running. It's like I need a big tank just like this one, just filled with regular water so I can put it face down. So it doesn't ever touch the front, don't, doesn't touch anything other than the water. But putting it in this bucket, there's no way that it won't touch itself. And it folds up. Fighting with this fabric is just... Silk is the absolute worst. Silk and satin, they stick really. All right, this one looks fairly well so far. There's a little spot right here. 
Oh, you know what? Let me grab my cup. If I can gently pour some water on it. This is why I don't use black. There, the other black, I need to get some new paints. It used to be a lot better than the one I'm using now. The paint is so expensive. I'm trying to just use what we have now. Ugh. All right. Let's see how this is. I've got it all twisted and it's stuck together. All right, that looks pretty good. This piece doesn't look bad. There's a few little tiny spots where it seemed to want run just a little bit. Nothing major, nothing I can't live with. Oh, whew. Getting those on the rack so they don't touch the ones behind them is nerve-wracking. Because I'm afraid if I touched it with that black, it might transfer over. Even though they say once it's wet, it won't take more paint. Yeah, everything is expensive now. I bought two big bolts of my cotton fabric a while ago, so I haven't had to buy it in a while, and I'm thankful for that. I have had to purchase some satin and some denim, which they're both more expensive, but I know everybody understands that, so I've been not raising my prices, and I was thinking this weekend, as I was looking at my stuff, it's reasonably priced, but I think I'm going to have to bump it a little bit. I have... Two more shows and then a Christmas show. I'm hoping, I have not been approved yet for the Christmas show. The application comes out in September, so. But I've done the show before, so I would think that I could participate. All right, one more piece. Oh, and I'm back here and I can feel that, feel that, um, Wonderful fan. Okay. Move this over. Ugh. Yeah, it's even running on the paper. Get this piece out of here because this has been in here a while. So did anyone do anything fun this last weekend? As you know, I worked my um, booth on Saturday. Sunday we went to the gym. It was the weirdest thing. Sa Saturday night I was sleeping and I went to roll over or something and I tweaked my knee, the one I broke. And there's this one exercise that I do at the gym, and I kind of hang on this thing, and then I pull my legs up to my chest, or at least up to, you know, waist high, and uh, it's good for those mommy abdomens. And um, it hurt my knee really badly. I was like, I don't know what the heck. And that's when I remembered I had tweaked it in the night. I don't know what I did. I was sleeping and got my foot caught or something. And I just remember thinking, ooh, that hurt. And then going right back to sleep. And, um, but then I felt it again at the gym. 
So I didn't do, I usually do three sets of 10 of those, and this is so hard. And um, so I did one set of 10, but it just hurt too much. So I wimped out and didn't do it. I'll try again when we go tomorrow and see how that does. I would rather come home and sew, but we'll be going to the gym. So funny because my daughter, she tried to convince me that I would enjoy going after I've gone for a while. And we've been going since last December. We took a few weeks off when our daughter was here and then we went camping. So we're getting back into it. I don't enjoy it at all. There's so many other things I'd rather be doing. Okay. But it's good for me. So I'll go. It's there. It's freezing, I can tell. Yeah. I know. I know I'm going to have issues with it on and off. Let's see. Okay, so I want to be right in here for this next piece. So let me block off that up there. Well, let's see. Maybe I want the whole thing, and then we'll do one more. Okay. Yeah, I fully expect that it's going to be an issue. I ha When I was in the fifth grade, I hurt my left knee. I just pulled some ligaments, and back then they did the experimental surgeries, and um, my mom said no. And which is fine because I'm not a fan of that either. And uh, it hurt on and off. At least once a year I would have an issue with it for many, many years. And then I, I didn't have any problems. And then I broke my other one. So I have two bad knees. This one is much more noticeable. I only notice my other one a few times a year when I tweak it. But this one I notice on a daily basis. It just feels so different. I guess when you have a bionic leg or knee, it's bound to feel different. Enough parts and pieces in there. I can blame that on some extra weight, right? Okay, I'm going to do this one. This one, I already knew what colors I wanted to do. This is going to be the tote bag. And maybe one other. Woo! Knocking everything onto the floor. I was watching some paint pouring uh, videos yesterday and I was going, oh, I want to do that. But then everything's still out here, so I didn't feel like coming out in the heat. So this is, the first orange was kind of a reddish orange. I mixed that one with red and orange. And this is just a true orange. So I think I'm going to run just a little bit more of the red-orange down at this end. But yeah, I would so much love to stay home to them tomorrow and just so get Ashley's top done. And I will... I will do a tight freestyle on this.
I'm sure my day will be very busy after missing a day. We came when we came home on Saturday. We kind of had an early dinner. We don't, we stop at McDonald's. I need, don't always get anything to eat, but I did eat a protein bar later that morning. And then when we come home, we don't eat anything else during the day. So we're pretty hungry. So I had a few peanuts to snack kind of to hold me over until, uh, it was late enough to do dinner. So we made dinner about three o'clock. And then after that, I tell you, I was relaxing on the couch. I could not stay awake. I kept dozing off. My husband was laughing at me because I'm sitting there with my dropping my iPad because I keep falling asleep. I was so tired. And I went to bed probably at nine o'clock. Just kept going, is it time to go to sleep yet? Even though I had been asleep. And I didn't want to go to bed super early because then I'd be awake really early. I don't like getting out of bed early. All right, how's this? Let me look on the screen. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's, say it's t let's say it's good five pounds. I, I feel better with it, it weighs five pounds. That would make me feel so much better. Okay, let me get my assistant. Okay, dear. Okay, so this is denim. This is gonna be for a tote bag. They seem to sell fairly well. And my others that I made, I thought were a little bit long and for the width. So this one's just a little bit shorter. And we're going to use this down here at this end. Can you reach this far? Uh oh, kicking the bot, kicking the bottles, and it's going to feel. Fill it up. Perfect, thank you. Just fit. Yeah, I can get the rest. Okay, I want this one. Oh, just enough room. All right, there we go. So let me get the water out here. Should have had him bring my uh, water out. Oh, this is the denim is always heavy when it's wet. So again, just rinsing it in the bucket of water. take it over. I'm going to let it drip just a minute and then I'll take it over and hang it up. Well, that's weird. There what must have been a little bit of purple on the side of the bucket because it just came off on the inside. Oh, that's pretty. Again, that'll be a tote bag. And then this little one will be, um, it'll either be on a hat or it will be um, for the little tote bags. I don't know if I've made it big enough. I don't know if this scrap of fabric is wide enough for um, the hearts that I make. I'd love to do initials, but I'd have to do, you know, a little tote bag with each initial. 
I looked at the most common initials. And thought, well, I could do, you know, in the most common to put on there. But it seemed like the hearts were the easiest thing to do. Because then I'd have to decide on a font. And All right, there we go. One more project. I just about threw the paper towel in the rinse water. So now I have one more. Let's see. I want it to go on. Okay. I know what I'm going to do this time. This one. Whoops. This one. This one. Where's the blue? Oh, that fan feels heavenly. There it is. This, 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 this. A little bit of the red, if I can find the red. But I think this might be, well, we'll use it anyway. Okay, and drop it on the floor. So this, these are the colors I'm going to use. These are my brand colors that I use on everything. It's a dark teal, a light one, white, red, and blue. I'm not sure if this is actually red or if it's more of a pink. But I don't see the bottle, another bottle that would be actually the red. Oh, maybe here's one. Now that's the red orange that I just put back. So we're going with this. Oh, I guess I better clean this, huh? Hello. I'm all excited about working this next project. And I forgot to clean up my mess first. Oh my goodness. Now I know um, I told you about my parents being, their place being needed to be evacuated and they didn't, they evacuated and then they snuck back in. Well, I was looking through Facebook um, yesterday, and I came across a picture somebody took. My mother is standing there with her back to the camera, talking to somebody in a pickup, and behind her is this huge blaze. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I screenshotted it, and I sent it to her. I'm like, mother, and I put an exclamation point. I said, had this been me in this photo, you would have yelled at me for years. She didn't respond. I was just like, oh my gosh, just huge flames, just not very far away from her. I was just like, that's more than I can take. Stubborn rebels of parents. All right, here we go. <laughs> I sent it to my oldest daughter, and she said, Grandma told me that they were never, it was never even close to them, and here it's just right, at the, right down the street. I said, I know. They're good. They got their power back on on Thursday, so they were without power for about a week. So that's pretty good. I'm glad that it was as quick as it was. All right. 
So let me block off part of this. It was, and it was really scary just seeing it all again. You know, I'd kind of put it behind us because they're they're fine. They're absolutely fine. Um, but still, oh my gosh, seeing it that close to where she was just standing there talking. Like, mother. And I don't know if this is before or after my dad came home. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see what we can do here. We're going to do the red first. Now, this is kind of a pink, but it'll do. I don't know where my red is. These are the colors I need more of. Every time I go to uh, order more, the total just makes me walk away from my cart. And I can buy little bitty bottles, but that doesn't do me very much good. I mean, you know, they'll last a while, but I like to buy the big 8-ounce bottles, and that cost adds up quickly. Come on. I know exactly what's going on in here. There's paint in the tip that has dried. I try to keep them in the shade, but even just the temperature when you're at shows Makes them dry out because these tips are so narrow. Whew, there we go. I'll just squirt some in there. What do I do with the lid? All right. Now let's do a little bit of white. Some blue. Well, let's see. Let's do the darker teal. <laughs> Look how that's polka dotting because it can't come through. <laughs> that's cool. Again, same issue. Now let's do the blue, and then I'll do the light teal last. All those little tiny droplets. All right, let's go with that. Uh, I truly would have pre preferred an actual red to this pinky red, but it's okay. I really like the way these little spots are looking. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. I'm wiping my face with a paper towel that has paint on it, so who knows what my face looks like now. I'm anxious to see what this will look like on the fabric. Okay, are we ready? Now, I have a special, oops, a special project I want to do with this, but we're going to see if it's, once again, if it's the right size. I don't know if it's wide enough. These are literally scraps of fabric I found um, upstairs, and I just tossed them in the solution to prep them yesterday. But I know I can use them for one thing. It does look kind of red. <laughs> I still like those little dots. Carefully hanging it up here on the rack. Okay. Let me dry my hands and I'll take you over to see where it is there. Everything's hanging. That's so colorful. I love looking at my um, rack or the when I have to hang them in the bathtub. I love looking at how colorful they are. It just makes me happy. Okay. Just tossing a few of these in here. We were out buying... Uh, I would bought a container the other day to put um, some stuff in. I have a box that was literally the bottom was falling out of. So I bought a new container and I should have bought one for my paints. So, okay, hold on. I'm going to take you down. Wiggle, wiggle. Going for a ride. Okay. Nope, I won't drop you in the tank. Everybody just backstroke if you fall in, just backstroke. All right, here we are. Whoops, I forget it's backwards. So this is the one I just did. Let me turn the light around. Okay. There's the one that I just did with those little bitty spots on it. And there's the denim tote bag. That's the other little piece that I did. And then here's the uh, longer ones. But look how pretty it is when you look at all of them together. There we go. Hold it straight, Linda. But it just makes me happy. So, okay, guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much. Let me get out of the glare. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here so very much. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week. And until then, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it might just make their day. And look at how sweaty I am. I'm so sorry. Take care, everyone. Love you all. Bye-bye.